So, till previous class, we have completed uh, various uh, power stages uh, of three phase induction motor, and uh, then later on the relations between P2, PC, and uh, PM. So that also we have finished off. So today we will start with the numericals uh, based on this. So um, mostly uh, there will be definitely either a theory question or derivation, uh, or uh, there may be a numerical based on this. Okay. So um, uh, let us revise uh, which basic formula is. Uh, you will require to solve these numericals and then directly will uh, go for solving the numericals okay so uh, various power stages of three phase induction motor so this is the um, power flow diagram of three phase induction motor and we know that for every system whatever may be the input we are applying to that system 100% input will not be transferred to the uh, load or uh, it cannot be converted into the output. So, few losses uh, takes place in the uh, system. So, these are uh, say net electrical input P in, we are applying it to the stator winding of this three phase induction motor. In stator winding, stator losses takes place. So, stator losses uh, they are uh, having copper losses as well as iron or core losses. So, both the losses are present in the stator. So, both these losses will be subtracted from this input, uh, electrical input, so that the output of uh, this stator will be P2. And that is nothing but the RMF, rotating magnetic field is the output of this stator. And this stator output is applied as an input to this rotor. So, rotor input is again P2 and uh, this RMF that is interacting with the rotor and then the rotor copper losses because in um, rotor iron or core losses are negligible because they, those, uh, those losses are uh, dependent on the frequency and we know that S times F is the frequency under running condition um, in the rotor and uh, S is uh, uh, under running condition the value of slip is very, very small. It is usually of the order of 1 to 5 percent. So, it is uh, very negligible. That is why only rotor copper losses uh, are taking place. So, you have to subtract this load, uh, rotor copper losses from this P2 input to the rotor so that PM or gross mechanical power developed is the output of this rotor. Now, this rotor, uh, the gross mechanical power developed uh, from this, we have to subtract again mechanical losses and then only uh, the resultant power that will be the P out and uh, this P out will be the useful power uh, or the shaft power. So, it is definitely very less than this input power. Okay. Now, um, various formulas uh, in the, involved in this are P in is equal to, that is the input, uh, net electrical input power, that is equal to root 3 VL IL cos of phi, whereas VL is the line voltage, uh, IL is the line current, and cos phi is the uh, power vector, and phi is the angle between this VL and IL. Okay. Now, uh, next is the uh, P2 value. So, from this input P in, you have to subtract this stator losses. So, P in minus stator losses, that is both uh, losses are uh, taking place in stator, core and copper losses. So, subtract these losses to get P2. After P2, you need to calculate PC, that is the uh, rotor copper loss. So, rotor copper loss, as uh, we are winding it for uh, three phase, so it is three times and uh, uh, copper loss is nothing but your I square R loss. So, 3 times I2 R square into R2, whereas I2 R is the um, uh, current um, induced in rotor uh, under running condition. Okay. So, um, this is PC. Now, if you will subtract P2, 
uh, Pc from P2, then you will get the gross mechanical power developed, that is Pm. So Pm is equal to P2 minus Pc. From Pm, if you will subtract mechanical losses, you will get the P out. So P out is equal to Pm minus mechanical losses. Now, why you are studying all these power stages? To find out the efficiency. Now, two types of efficiency we can find out. Efficiency, as you know, it is defined as the uh, output upon input, power output upon power input into 100 will be the percentage efficiency. Now, if you want to calculate efficiency of this rotor, then output of rotor is PM. So, PM divided by input to the rotor is P2. So, PM by P2 into 100 will be the rotor efficiency. And if you want to calculate the overall efficiency of the motor, then it will be P out upon P in into 100. So these two efficiencies we are uh, able to find from this uh, power flow diagram. That is rotor efficiency, that is rotor output upon rotor input, that is gross mechanical power developed divided by rotor input, that is PM by P2. And if you want to express it in percentage, multiplied by 100. And overall uh, motor efficiency, it is P out upon P in into 100. Okay, then let uh, then uh, we have seen the relationships between P2, PC and PM. So this is very important relation, P2 S to PC S to PM, it is 1 S to S S to 1 minus S. Now you can take ratio of any of the two quantities on left hand side and the same ratio you can take on right hand side and both will be equal. That is if you want to take PM upon PC, it will be 1, upon a, 1 minus S upon S. If you want PC upon PM, it will be S upon 1 minus S. If it is P2 upon PC, it will be 1 by S. If it is PC by P2, then it will be S and so on and so forth. So any two ratios from left hand side and same on right hand side you can take and that will be the relation between these two quantities. So you have to remember only this P2 S to PC S to PM is 1 S to S S to 1 minus S. Okay. So with this formulas, let us start uh, tackling the numericals. Now first numerical, uh, I'll switch off my video and then uh, again, so that bandwidth required will be less. The power input to the rotor of a 400 volt, 50 hertz, six pole, three phase induction motor is 75 kilowatt. So what is the given data? We'll simultaneously start writing. So power input to the rotor uh, is given. How much it is? 75 kilowatt. So what is that? Power input to the rotor means P2. So P2 is given as 75 kilowatt. Then 400 volt, 50 hertz, 6 pole. So capital P is 6, F is 50 and VL is 400 volt, three phase induction motor. Okay, motor has two kilowatt stator losses. So stator losses are given as two kilowatt. Mechanical losses are given as 750 watts. So these are the given. Now, if frequency of EMF induced in the rotor circuit has four hertz, means FR is given. So FR is given as four hertz. Okay, and uh, determine the slip of the motor, rotor speed, rotor copper loss per phase, output of the motor, input of the motor, and efficiency of the motor. So for this rotor copper loss, that means PC. Per phase means you have to divide it by three. So PC by three will be rotor copper loss per phase. So PC you want to find, slip means S you want to find, Rotor speed, that is M, we want to find. Rotor copper loss, that is PC by 3, divide by 3, that is per phase. Then output of the motor, that is P out. Then input of the motor, that is P in. And efficiency of the motor, that is percentage efficiency, that is P out upon P in into 100. Okay. So these quantities are asked. So first, write down what is the given data. So given data is this, VL is equal to 400, P is equal to 6, F is equal to 50, P 
टू इज इक्वल टू सेवेंटी फाइव किलो वैट देन स्टेटर लॉसेस टू किलो वैट देन मेकेनिकल लॉसेस सेवन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी वाट एफ आर इज फोर हर्ट नाउ एज आई हेव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू ब्लाइंडली यू हेव टू फर्स्ट फाइंड आउट एन एस सो एन एस इज इक्वल टू वन ट्वेंटी एफ बाई पी सो एफ इज गिवन एंड पी इज गिवन सो एन एस इक्वल टू वन ट्वेंटी इन टू फिफ्टी डिवाइड बाय सिक्स so that is equal to 1000 rpm okay now the first is slip you want to calculate now we know fr is given f is given so the relation between fr and f is fr is equal to s times f that is the frequency of rotor induced emf in rotor under running condition that is fr and it is s times the frequency supply uh, applied to the Supply, okay, stator. So F R is equal to S into F. So from this S you can calculate by F R divided by F. So therefore S is equal to F R by F. F R is four hertz and F is given as fifty hertz. So four by fifty will be point zero eight. That is percentage if you want to express it. So percentage of slip S is equal to eight percent. Okay. So this is the percentage slip. The next asked is the rotor speed. That is n is asked. So how to calculate n? N is equal to n s into bracket one minus s. N s we have calculated as thousand rpm, and s we have calculated as point zero eight. So substitute the values. So n is equal to one thousand into bracket one minus point zero eight. So that is equal to nine hundred and twenty rpm. So rotor speed we have calculated. now rotor copper loss per phase we want to calculate so first we'll calculate uh, rotor copper loss that is pc and then we'll divide it by 3 okay so for that purpose we know the relation p2 s to pc s to pm is 1 s to s s to 1 minus s so this uh, you have to write down every time uh, in exam so that you can uh, remember the uh, any ratios well Okay, so P two S to P C S to P M is one S to S S to one minus S. So from this, we know we, uh, already the value of P two is given to you, and we want to find P C. So P two and P C relation between these two we want. So P two divided by P C is equal to one upon S. So that is, if you want to find P C, P C is equal to S times P two. So that is P C equal to S into P two and we want to calculate P C so P C equal to S and P two you substitute the values S is point zero eight and uh, P two is given as seventy five kilowatt so convert it into wattage so it will be seventy five thousand okay so uh, simplify this you will get six thousand watts this is power so P C is a power so its unit is watt. okay now pc value is uh, known to you but uh, what is asked pc per phase that is rotor copper loss per phase is asked and uh, this is a three phase induction motor so we are uh, winding um, both this uh, stator and uh, rotor for uh, three phases so that's why uh, if you want to find pc per phase you have to divide it by 3 so pc value divided by 3 that is 6000 by 3 So it is two thousand watt per phase. So watt per phase. So this is the required answer. The next uh, asked is the P out. Now for P out, we need to know P M because P out where it is P out. P out is this P out. So if you want to calculate P out, then it is P M minus mechanical losses. So if we know PM, the mechanical losses are given to you. If you know PM, then you can um, subtract mechanical losses from these, and then you will get this P out. And similarly, if P2 is known to you and stator losses are known to you, you can club these two. That is P2 plus stator losses, and you will get P in. Okay, so that's why we need to find first PM. if you want to find p2 so 
is there uh, if you want to find p out sorry okay so pm and p2 p2 is known to you now pc is also known to you so you can use any of these relation so we will use this relation pm and p2 so pm upon p2 is equal to 1 minus s upon 1 Okay, or if you want to write it in opposite fashion, that is P two upon P M, then it will be one upon one minus S. So I have written here P two upon P M is equal to one upon one minus S. Now P M you take on this side and this one minus S on this side, so that P M is equal to P two into one minus S. P two is given that is seventy five thousand watt or seventy five kilowatt, and S we have calculated as point zero eight. So substitute the values so that PM is equal to seventy five thousand into bracket one minus point zero eight is equal to sixty nine thousand watt or sixty nine kilowatt. Okay, this is also power, so its unit is watt or kilowatt. Okay, then P out we want to find. So P out is nothing but PM minus mechanical losses. Mechanical losses are given to you as seven hundred and fifty. So PM we have calculated as sixty nine thousand watt minus seven hundred and fifty watt equal to sixty eight thousand two hundred and fifty watt. So P out is calculated. Now next is you want to find P in. So P in is nothing but your P two plus stator losses. P two um, is given to you. So that is seventy five thousand watt and stator losses are also given to you. That is two kilowatt or two thousand watt. So add them together so that it will be seventy seven thousand watt or seventy seven kilowatt. So this is P in. Now last ask quantity is the percentage efficiency. So if you want to find efficiency, overall efficiency of the motor, it will be P out upon P in into hundred. So P out we have calculated here in fourth calculation. So it is. Sixty-eight thousand two hundred and fifty, and P in on in fifth calculation it is seventy-seven thousand watt. Okay, so substitute the values. Sixty-eight two fifty divided by seventy-seven zero 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 into hundred. So simplify this, you will get answer as eighty-eight point sixty-three percent. So I hope you have understood uh, this. How to tackle this problem? then let us see the next numerical a three phase four pole 75 kilowatt 600 volt induction motor runs at 1763 rpm on full load so what is given p capital p is equal to 4 p out is given now it is 75 kilowatt f is given as 60 hertz n is given as 1763 rpm okay and uh, uh, it is 600 volt so it is vl is given okay vl is given as uh, 600 volt then uh, the stator losses are 5 kilowatt and mechanical losses are 1.2 kilowatt so stator losses are given 5 kilowatt mechanical losses as 1.2 kilowatt and you need to calculate rotor copper loss per phase means again pc per phase so pc you calculate first and divide it by 3 okay then mechanical power developed that is pm and efficiency of the motor that is percentage eta so first write down the given data so p is equal to 4 p out is equal to 75 kilowatt F is equal to 60 hertz. N is equal to 1763 RPM. Stator loss 5 kilowatt. Mechanical losses 1.2 kilowatt. And VL is also given 600 volt. But as it is of no use, I have not written over here. You can mention it here. VL is equal to 600 volts. Okay. Now for calculating any things, we need to require uh, we need NS or synchronous speed. So blindly first calculate NS. NS is equal to 120 F by P, so that is equal to 120 into 60 upon 4, that is equal to 1800 RPM. 
okay now n is also given to you so n is full load speed it is given as 1763 rpm so we need to find s so s is equal to ns minus n upon ns substitute the values ns is 1800 and n is equal to 1763 so divide by again 1800 so if you will simplify this you will get the value of s as 0.02 so now ns and s you have got now what we want to find this rotor copper loss and uh, the given uh, is your p out so if p out is given to you and mechanical losses are given to you you can calculate pm from this that is p out plus mechanical losses will be equal to pm and then from the relation of between p2 s to pc s to pm you can calculate pc and then divide it by 3 so that it will be per phase rotor copper loss okay so pm is equal to p out plus mechanical losses p out is given as 75 kilowatt and mechanical losses are given as 1.2 kilowatt so uh, this pm is equal to 76.2 kilowatt okay now we know that p2 s to pc s to pm is 1 s to s s to 1 minus s we need to find pc and pm is known so you can take ratio of pc divided by pm will be equal to s upon 1 minus s so pc by pm is equal to s upon 1 minus s so pc is equal to this into pm take pm on this side so that is pc equal to s upon 1 minus s into pm now substitute the values s we have calculated as 0.02 so substitute 0.02 upon 1 minus 0.02 into pm as 76.2 kilowatt that is equal to 1.6 kilowatt or you can uh, write here even in watts multiply this by 1000 so that uh, in answer also you will get multiply this by 1000 so it will be 1600 watt okay then uh, we want to find the copper copper loss uh, per phase so you have to divide it by 3 so pc value is 1.6 kilowatt that is 1600 divided by 3 so that is the pc per phase so 533.33 watts per phase will be the rotor copper loss per phase so first quantity we have calculated now second quantity asked is the mechanical power developed pm so pm we have already calculated here that pm is equal to uh, 76.2 kilowatt so here we have already calculated so second answer uh, we have initially calculated okay then third uh, quantity asked is the efficiency of the motor now for efficiency we know that percentage efficiency is given as p out upon p in into 100 so in order to calculate p out we uh, know um, uh, uh, first we'll calculate um, p2 okay Uh, p out uh, whether we have calculated uh, p out is uh, directly given to you okay p out is given to you as 75 kilowatt so no need to calculate p out only we are interested to calculate p in now okay so for calculating p in uh, if we know p2 then from that we can calculate so for p2 we know uh, now pm we know and pc we have calculated so from pc and pm we can calculate p2 that is pc plus pm will be equal to p2 so p2 is equal to pm plus pc that is 76.2 kilowatt plus 1.6 kilowatt is equal to 77.8 kilowatt is the value of p2 now if p2 is known to you and stator losses are known to you then you can add them to get p in So P in is equal to P two plus stator losses, that is seventy seven point eight kilowatt plus five kilowatt is equal to eighty two point eight kilowatt. Now P in is known to you. P out is given to you. P out is seventy five kilowatt and P in is seventy seven 
82.8 kilowatt. So take ratio of that. So percentage of efficiency it is equal to P out upon P in into 100. That is equal to 75 kilowatt divided by 82.8 kilowatt into 100. So kilowatt kilowatt will be cancelled. If you will simplify this, you will get the answer as 90.58 percent. Okay. So I hope you understood this problem also. Now let us tackle uh, the next numerical. So it is given as the output of a three-phase 415 volt induction motor running at 2% of slip is 36.775 kilowatt. So um, what is uh, given to you? VL is given as 415 volt. VL is given as 415 volt. And the output of this motor, it is given as P out is equal to 36.775 kilowatt. It is given. And slip is given as 2%. That is S is equal to 0 0.02. And uh, uh, here it is given that uh, this determine uh, rotor speed, N we want to calculate, and slip speed. So that is uh, uh, NS minus N. That is also asked. That is the slip speed. Then rotor output, that is N. Uh, and rotor copper loss. Uh, sorry, rotor uh, output, that is uh, PM. And then rotor copper loss is asked. Uh, that is PC. Uh, here now, uh, per phase is not asked. So only PC is uh, um, enough. Then efficiency of the motor at given loading condition. So percentage efficiency is asked. Assume motor is wound for four poles. So P is given as four. Okay, four poles. So capital P is four. And supply frequency F is given to you as 50 hertz. So from this you can calculate NS. Okay, and given friction and windage losses. That is mechanical losses are given as 1500 watt. And uh, while stator losses are given as 3 kilowatt. So stator losses are given as 3 kilowatt. Mechanical losses are given as 1500 watt. Then uh, P is 4. Then F is uh, 50. VL is 415. P out is uh, 36.775 kilowatt. S is equal to 2% or 0 0.2, 0.2. So that is given. Now first uh, you write the given data and after writing given data, Blindly, you can calculate first NS. So, NS is equal to 120 F by P. So, 120 into 50 by 4. That is equal to 1500 RPM. Now, first quantity asked is the uh, speed. Uh, so, what is the rotor speed? N. And slip speed. That is NS minus N. So, N you can calculate from N is equal to NS into bracket 1 minus S. NS is 1500 we have calculated. And S is given as 0 0.02. So 1500 into bracket 1 minus uh, 0 0.02. So that is equal to 1470 RPM. So this is N. NS is 1500. So what will be slip speed? NS minus N. That is 1500 minus 1470. So that is equal to 30 RPM. So this is slip speed. So first quantity we have calculated. Now second is rotor output and then uh, rotor copper loss. Okay. So, um, if you want to uh, find uh, uh, rotor uh, copper loss, uh, rotor output, that is PM. Uh, so, PM you want to find. So, P out is given to you. So, P out is 36.775 kilowatt or 36,775 watt. So, P out is given to you. Plus, if you will add mechanical losses, that is frictional and friction and windage losses, then you will get PM. So um, that is first answer. And then uh, PM is known to you. So from the relation between PC and PM, you can cal calculate the value of PC, that is rotor copper loss. Okay. So 
PM is equal to P out plus friction and windage losses. So that is 36,775 plus 1500. So that is equal to 38.275 kilowatt or 38,275 watt. So this is the rotor output now. Then uh, from this relation, P2 S to PC S to PM is 1 S to S S to 1 minus S. So we know uh, the PM value we know and we want to calculate PC. S value we are already calculated. So PC by PM, it is equal to S upon 1 minus S. So PC is equal to this into PM. So PC is equal to substitute the values S as 0 0.02 divided by 1 minus 0 0.02 into PM as 38,275. So that is equal to 781 uh, 0.12 watt. So this is the answer for PC. And uh, when, uh, means uh, this time it is not asked to calculate per phase, PC per phase. So no need to divide it by 3. So simply PC is asked. So answer is 781.12 watt. And then third quantity asked is the efficiency. So for uh, calculating uh, efficiency, um, you first uh, uh, calculate P in and um, if P in um, is known to you, P out you are, uh, you are already given. So it is 36,775 watt. So this is P out is given to you. Uh, you need to find P in. So if you will be uh, able to know P2, then uh, PC is you are already calculated now PC. So, and PM, uh, you know, so PM plus PC is equal to P2. So, from this relation, you can find P2. And if P2 is known to you, stator losses are given to you. So, you can add stator losses in P2 to get PN. Okay. So, now P2 is equal to PC plus PM. That is 781.12 plus, uh, plus 38275. So both in watts. So that is equal to 390.39056.12 uh, uh, watt. Or you can uh, say it is 39.056 kilowatt. So, uh, then uh, you have to add stator losses in that. So that is uh, given as 3000 or 3 kilowatt. So add this in uh, P2 to get PN. So PN is equal to P2 plus stator losses. So that is coming as 42056.12 watt. So this is P in now. P out is, uh, you know, this 36775. Now take ratio of this. So percentage efficiency is equal to P out upon P in into 100. So that is 36775 divided by 42056.12 into 100. So that comes out to be 87.44%. So this problem is also over. I hope uh, you understood uh, this numerical also. So now let's uh, see the next numerical. So I hope time is there. So I don't think. Okay, let us continue. Um, and if uh, time permits, we'll finish it off. Otherwise, I'll. Uh, revise it uh, next time also. Okay. Uh, but I hope uh, it will, will be able to complete this problem. Okay. A 25 kilowatt, 4 pole, 3 fan, 50 hertz induction motor is running at 1410 RPM supplying full load. Okay. So what is given to you? P out is given. That is 25 kilowatt. That is P out. So, if uh, uh, specifications of motor is given, that is, so that is nothing but your P out. Okay, so P out is given as 25 kilowatt, capital P is given as 4, three phase induction motor it is 50 hertz. So, F is given as 50 hertz, then uh, running at 1410 RPM, supplying full load. So, N F L is given to you as N F L full load. 1410 RPM. 
and then mechanical losses are given the mechanical losses are 850 watts then stator losses are given stator losses are 1.7 times the rotor copper losses on full load that means your stator losses losses equal to 1.7 into pc okay so you need to calculate first pc then 1.7 times pc will be your stator losses okay then uh you need to calculate rotor copper losses that is pc then the value of rotor resistance per phase that is r2 uh, we want to calculate if rotor current on full load per phase is 65 ampere okay so i2 r it is given to you as 65 ampere and uh, we need to find again the full load efficiency okay so first write down the given data so given data p out is equal to 25 kilowatt p is equal to 4 f is equal to 50 hertz n fl is 1410 rpm mechanical losses are 850 um watt then stator losses uh, are given as 1.7 into uh, rotor copper losses at full load okay now blindly will first calculate ns so ns is equal to 120 f by p that is equal to 120 into 50 by 4 that is equal to 1500 rpm and s is equal to ns minus n upon ns is equal to 1500 minus 1410 divided by 1500 so it is coming as 0.06 and one more we will calculate as pm pm is equal to p out plus mechanical losses as p out is given to you so that is 25000 watt and mechanical losses are given as 850 watt so pm is equal to 25850 watt okay now with this we'll try to uh, solve uh, our uh, numerical so we know that the relation between p2 s to pc s to pm it is 1 s to s s to 1 minus s okay therefore from this relation we can calculate pc by pm is equal to s upon 1 minus s therefore pc is equal to this s upon 1 minus s into pm substitute the values as 0.06 divided by 1 minus 0.06 into 25850 watt so its answer is 1650 watt so pc is known to you now we know that pc is equal to 3 times uh i2 r square into r2 right this i2 r value is given to you as 65 ampere and pc we have calculated it as 1650 watt substitute the values you will get the value of r2 so that is r2 is equal to pc divided by 3 i2 r square that is 1650 divided by 3 into 65 square so it comes out to be 0.13 ohm per phase okay and uh, uh, last quantity asked is the uh, percentage efficiency so for that we will calculate p2 first p2 is equal to pc plus pm so p2 pc is uh, 1650 watt and pm uh, is 25850 so that is coming out as 27500 watt 27500 watt then p in is equal to p2 plus stator losses now stator losses are given as 1.7 times pc pc we have calculated it as 1650 so p in is equal to p2 is 27500 plus 1.7 times 1650 if you will simplify this it is coming out as 30 305 watt so 30305 watt now p in is known to you p out is known to you so percentage of efficiency is equal to p out upon p in into 100 that is equal to 25000 divided by 30305 into 100 so it is coming out to be 82.494% so let us stop here i hope uh, time will not permit us uh, today so thank you bye good day and take care and i hope you have understood um, uh, all these numericals if you are having any doubt you can ask at any time thank you bye good day and take care